Hey everyone, it's uh, Lance Klessig and I'm here today with Andrew Rushell. And uh, today we're looking at the uh, interseeder that you and your dad, Jeff, built. Yep. Um, first off, can you tell us a little bit about where you farm, how many acres, some of the crops you grow? Yeah, we're uh, roughly between 1,200 and 1,500 acres here in uh, Golden, Illinois. Um, yep. And um, we farm predominantly corn and soybeans. Uh, we've got a few small grains here and there. Okay. Uh, and then um, behind the small grain, we put a full season cover crop, um, high, heavy mixes. And then in between all of our actual cash crops, we have a lot of cover crops that we play in between there. So uh, awesome. try to get every single acre covered every single year. So. Sure, sure. Tell us a little bit about this rig. Uh, you guys just built it. Yeah. Uh, this is an interseeder. Uh, it's based off of Lauren Steinlegge's design up in Iowa. Yep. Um, and uh, it's a twin row. It's a twin row planter. It's all offset though, 15 inches from a normal planter. Sure. Um, so this allows us to install cover crops in between the corn rows um, yep. while the corn's growing. Uh, and then when we take the corn off, we can plant um, twin row small grain. Mm -hmm. um, we can move over and plant twin row soybeans and we could go with a relay crop if we wanted to, situational rise. Um, and we also, right now, we're currently behind um, some soybean field here, yep. going back to corn. And so we're planting a bio strip today. That's what we're doing. We'll split this bio strip next year with uh, corn sure. right down the middle. So Awesome. A very versatile tool. Yeah. Very versatile yeah. tool. Awesome. Awesome. About how many acres per hour do you think you're gonna run? I know you just built this a couple days ago, you're just getting it going, but. Yeah, we're out here to break it. So, uh, <coughs> right me. now, I think I was just running out here on the flats. I was running about nine miles per hour, um, just getting it started. So hopefully we'll get it cranked up a little bit faster by the time the day's over. Sure, sure. Uh, one other thing, uh, tell us some of the main objectives that you hope to accomplish with this rig. What is What, what tools do you put in your toolbox with this? So, the whole point of this rig is to have as many diverse living roots in the ground mm -hmm. as much as we possibly can. Sure. So that's where the interseeding early comes in. Uh, I want to try to design a system where I can interseed my soybeans um, so that when I combine my soybeans, I already have a cover. good stand of cover going and not just waste and hope that I get some of these volunteers that we have out here today. Sure. Um, I want to have that already going by the time I take my soybeans out. Awesome, so. awesome. Lastly, what's one piece of advice for somebody that's watching our video that yeah. wants to get into cover cropping or regenerative egg? What's one piece or maybe two pieces of advice that you would encourage somebody that's maybe newer into this journey than you guys are? Uh, follow the principles, learn the principles. What principles? The five principles or ever, how many six. principles? Six principles. <laughs> of soil health. Uh, learn those principles, but learn the meaning behind it, the context behind all that. That's no system, no farm, and no system will look the same. Everyone's are going to be different. Apply the principles, and everything else will falls just into kind place. Of falls into place. That's right. That's um, right. And constantly learning, and constantly adjusting. But those learning, learning those principles are, and why the why yes, that's is very the most important thing. I would agree. The, so. the context, the 10,000 foot view, yep. then all the methods and all these things just really fall into place pretty easily. So, And they're ever changing. That's right. So That's right. And we're ever learning. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Awesome. Well, Andrew, thanks, buddy, thanks, for the Lance. interview. Thanks for and stopping by. You bet. And again, it's Andrew Andrew Rushell, Lance Classic. We're out at, outside of Golden, Illinois. And just want to say thanks for joining us and uh, choose to make it a great day, everyone.